So in this video, we're going to go through the animation process using this toolkit. And we're going to do this namely by going through the character animation suite. So let's click on that and let's go to effect controls to see it right over here. So this is the character animation suite and this is going to be used mostly with the pre-made animations. If you want to add your custom animations, you're going to use mostly the character rig controls instead. But that said, there's still some features inside the character animation suite that can be used with your custom rig. Let's now start importing our animations. But before that, let's go to the project in here and let's open the folder in here and go to the character studio right over here. This character studio composition in here is where all the animations will take place. So you will need to import all your animations inside here. Another thing to say is that the character studio comes with a shadow that automatically reacts to your animations. Now, if we scroll down here, we'll find this layer, the shadow, and we can see it right over here. Now, right now it is hidden under the legs since we have increased the size of the feet. So what we need to do, pick that shadow and move it a little bit down. And now we can see it, the shadow right under the feet. So with that done, let's start importing our animations. We're going to go to the top in here, go to character animation suite, and from here go to effect controls. Now, before you start importing animations, make sure that you always select the character animation suite. I'm going to zoom up in the timeline in here so that I can see a little bit more properly, maybe a little bit more. And I'm also going to extend the work area in here, just like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the effects and presets, go to animation presets, animation presets, and find the character animations that we have previously installed in here. And we're going to select an animation that we like. So I would like to start with him just standing still in a place. So let's find the animation that does that. If we scroll through here, we'll find these standing poses in here. Open that folder and let's select one of these. Maybe standing pose three. And if you'd like to see what these animations do before you import them, what you can do is you can go to the folder that you have downloaded go to animation presets, go to give animations preview, and from character animations, we can see the preview of all the animations in here. So in that case, we are going in standing poses and we're thinking of adding standing pose three. So let's see that, double click on it. And there it is, he is standing in one pose and just moving slightly his legs in here. I like this so, Let's, let's add this, or actually let's see what this do. Mm, this is quite nice as well, he's tapping his, his feet. So let's add standing pose four. So make sure that the character animation suite is selected. Always make sure that this is selected before you import animations. Make sure that the timeline slider in here is set to the start, and I'm simply going to double click on this. Now, it may look that nothing has happened, but if we select character animation suite in here and click U on our keyboard, this will open all our keyframes in here and you can see in here that we have imported all the animation keyframes in here inside the character animation suite. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this animation to see how it looks. Wait for it to catch. I'm doing this by pressing zero on my key keyboard and then let's just start it again. And as you can see in here, we have the tapping of the feet, his feet moving slightly, and him moving very slightly in here, standing in one position. So let's add something more interesting. Now I'm going to go to the end of this, simply click one of these arrows in here and go to the end keyframe. Always make sure that you are on the end keyframe before you add more animations. And one thing that I like to do before adding another animation is to simply hit the star key on my keyboard to add a marker. So with the layer selected, add a marker. This way I would know where this animation starts and ends. And I can even add the marker key at the start in here. This way I can really know where each animation starts and ends. So let's go to the end of this once again. And let's add another animation. So let's make him walk now. Make sure that the correct animation suite is selected. And let's find a walk animation. If we scroll down here, we'll find a walk animation. Let's add a walk start. This will start the walking cycle. Double click on that. Go to the end once again. 
let's add another marker in here by pressing star on my keyboard and you can also right click and add marker and with that done I'm going to select character animation suite once again and go to walk loop and we can see the loop let's go to the end keyframe in this or let's make sure that you are in the end and I'm going to make another loop make sure character animation suite is selected double click and we can see that the animation is being imported in here so continue doing this and construct your own animation let's add another marker in here and let's end the walk cycle right in here so select character animation suite and walk end go to the end and now let's add something a little bit fancy maybe let's make him sit so let's go to sitting and then going to make him sit facing front so sitting front in here i can see that we have animation name sitting down front let's double click on that make sure that this is selected go to the end keyframe in here and now let's add the final animation let's make a marker and add the final animation maybe sitting down with crossed hands so let's go in here crossed hands sitting front crossed hands let's make a start to that make sure character animation suite is selected double click it enters our keyframes in there go to the end make another marker and put an end you can of course not make the markers but i like to make the markers so that i know where each animation starts and ends and there we have it now let's go to the end add another marker and let's play this animation to see how it looks so the animation is cached now it may take some time to cache since of course it's doing all its animation on the character with that cached i'm going to have a look at it let's press zero on my keyboard and see how that looks so he's stepping his feet he's walking then he's stopping and he's sitting down and having a crossed hand like that very nice now one thing that we will notice in here is that as he is sitting down in the front and he is crossing his hands we have a small issue where the hand in here is at at the back and we will see how we can fix that at in the next video basically and see how we can work with different animations this happens because you're moving from a side animation which is the walk to a front animation which is the setting so we'll have a look how to fix that at a later stage as well now one thing that we're going to do is that while viewing this animation i see that we might need a small animation in here so he's walking and then stopping and sitting down immediately let's try and make him look down before he sits so let's import an animation just before he sits in here so he's walking and he's stopping and we need to import a new animation in here now this is where the the markers come in very handy since we know where this animation ends exactly in here so let's zoom up in there and what we're going to do is we're going to pick all these keyframes make sure that you select all the keyframes in here and before you do this I always suggest to so let's zoom zoom a little bit out in here like this I always suggest to pick the character animation suite and click U in here so that it shows up all the keyframes and then pick up from that marker pick up all the keyframes from that marker and if we zoom out I'm simply going to drag them to a different position here so let's drag them back just like that with that I'm going to drag all these markers as well let's drag them one by one and position them where they were basically so with that done now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the last keyframe of this of this part 
where we, so let's make sure that we are on that keyframe, where basically it stopped walking and we're simply going to find another animation that where he is looking down. So let's see. And here we have a looking down animation. So look down, make sure that the character animation suite is selected and double click on that. It will enter your animation in here. Also make sure that when you put the keyframes back in here, when you drag these keyframes back, they are back enough for the animation to fit. Most of the times I like to drag them quite back, like leave around 10 seconds from this and to this so that you will make sure that the animation fits that you're going to import. So in this case it fitted correctly, so I'm now what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to pick all those keyframes again. They are all picked up, highlighted in blue as you can see, and I'm going to move them right on top of the other keyframes. Just like that. So this is how you would change your animation if you would like to add an animation in the middle. You can do this like this. Of course, it would be ideal to set it right from the beginning. So I would suggest to write your animations down that you want to enter and then simply enter them one after the other since that's the fastest way. But you can adjust these at a later stage as you can see. Always make sure to have these markers so that you know from where it starts and ends each animation. So let's preview this now. So I cached my animation and now I can view it. So let's play it. And he's tapping his feet. Now he will start walking. And then he should look down and that's it. And have crossed hands in there. Very nice. I'm happy with the animation. Now, what I'm going to do once you are set with all your animation that you want to do is we're going to go to project and we're going to create a new composition. So I'm going to go to composition and new composition. From here, give it something like, let's start with full HD. So let's start with full HD and maybe increase that to, to 2500. So press OK. Make sure that the duration is correct for the animation that you're doing. So in this case, let's, let's make it a little bit long. Let's make it one minute so that I'm sure that it fits. And press OK. Now I have this new composition and you can rename this. And I named it Character02 Animation Comp01. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drag and drop this in here. You can see my character in there. Let's fix this up to 100%. You can see that the character is quite has quite some high resolution. It can go up to 4K resolution. So in this case, since I didn't go up to the whole 4K, I, I am going to scale that a little bit down. So I adjusted my character right in here. I normally would keep the background as it is transparent so that I don't, so that I, when I render, I can render it with a transparent background and then I can import it in another project and use it and construct my story there. So I have my character in here. Now a button that you might want to click is this one. So this way it keeps the original resolution of the character, etc. So and even there are some animations that might go a little bit out. In this case, you're secure in that the, all the animations fit correctly in here. So now we have this animation inside this composition in here. And we're basically set to go to the next, to the next video where we will see how we can add additional animations.